8 of 4 refusing to look after my housemate's cat and threatening to take it to an animal shelter. I 2 2 F house share with Mia 202 and Amy to 3 F. We all finished uni courses last year. I am doing a postgrad course at the uni. They entered employment. We got together via mutual friends as we were all looking for a rental. I spend most of my time at uni or working in my room. Six weeks after we moved in Mia came in from visiting her parents with a cat in tow that was hers. When she lived at home before uni, she hadn't been able to have it at uni, so her parents had kept it. I was not happy. I hate cats due to a bad childhood experience and was annoyed she hadn't discussed it with us. She just said the landlord didn't mind and that it would be no trouble. Amy likes cats and was pleased, so I was in the minority. For the sake of harmony, I didn't make a big issue of it. I was just clear that I would not do anything for the cat at any point. Few weeks ago Mia announced that she had a three-month work placement in another part of the country. She would get free accommodation, so wasn't moving out permanently. She'd still pay her share of rent, but couldn't take the cat. Again I was not happy, but Amy said she would look after it. Mia left three weeks ago. Shortly after, Amy got ill with health issues I won't go into here. It means she has to move in with her parents temporarily. She left a week ago and will be away until after Christmas, so I'm left on my own in the house with the cat. I immediately called Mia and said she had to sort someone else to take the cat. She said that was unfair of me because she hadn't known Amy wouldn't be around and there was no one else around locally who could take it. I said that was not my problem, it is not my cat. She said to give her a few days. The cat is not no trouble, it is needy. It goes outside, but winds by the back door after being out for an hour or so. If I let it in, it's not long before it's whining outside my bedroom door. I have loads of uni work to do, and this is distracting. It did this even when Mia and Amy were here, but it's worse now that they've gone. I've been feeding it, but hate having to do this. The food stinks the place out and is running low. It's a week since I spoke to Mia, and no sign of the cat going anywhere. I message her daily about it, but she just fobs me off. In desperation, I called her parents directly to ask them to come and get it. They were annoyed at me and said why couldn't I just look after it. They couldn't just drop everything and come for the cat, that they live over three hours away. I said that unless someone picked the cat up within 48 hours, which is how much food it has left here, will take it to the local animal shelter and tell them. The full story that its owner has effectively abandoned the cat into the care of someone who does not want to be responsible for it. Mia has blown up my phone since then, calling me an R. Ata. Edit. Thanks for the replies. I can't respond to them all but there were a couple of things I wanted to come back on. Firstly, why are some people accusing me of condemning the cat to death if it goes to a shelter? That might be the way it is in your country, but I'm in the UK and the shelter I take it to is an RSPCA one. They're a charity that look after animals which have been abused or abandoned. They don't put animals down unless they're ill or mortally injured. So if you've accused me of that, you're just wrong, plain and simple. I'd give them full details of the owner and the circumstances around this matter. Mia would be able to reclaim it when she pulls her finger out and actually does something about this. Also, some have got the wrong end of the stick regarding Amy's return. I know I put after Christmas. That doesn't literally mean January 1st. She's quite ill. I'm not going to share details, but even she doesn't really know time frame. It'll just be sometime after Christmas. Could be a while after. Thanks again for your replies.